Hi and welcome to the episode of Peacemake TV. In today's tutorial for WordPress, we're going to take a look at how we can modify the search results we get when anybody searches our website. We're going to restrict the search results to only show us the content of our posts and not any of our pages. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So there are various free plugins we could download and install into our WordPress installation to control this information. But the reality is the more plugins you end up installing, the more potential you have for slowing your website down or potential for conflicts and problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can do this from the functions PHP file. Now, the thing that I want to just say before we go any further with this is that I would always recommend if you're going to start messing around with the functions PHP file is to set everything up so you've got a child theme. Now, there's plenty of information on the internet about how you can install and create child themes in WordPress, and we'll take a look at this in a future video. But for now, I'm going to assume that you're comfortable doing that or that the actual theme that you're using ships with its own uh, child theme. So let's take a look at what we need to do, what file we need to edit, and how we can actually get stuck in and control the search. So if we take a look, I've got my site open through FTP, and you can see there's a normal file structure we're going to see when we're dealing with WordPress, and we need to go into the WP content folder, and we're going to come down to uh, themes, and you can see that I'm currently using the Impreza theme, and I've also got the Impreza child theme set up there. So I can just double click that. You can see inside we've only got three files available to us because this is a pretty bare, this is the bare minimum you need for a child theme. It's pretty straightforward to set up. So what I need to do is I need to open up and edit the functions file so we can start putting in the information we need to control that search result. So for me to do that, I just simply right click on the functions file and I say view or edit. And there's our functions file. As you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment. We just got the opening PHP tag and it tells us that any custom code we want to apply to this is placed below. Now, the reason we use a child theme to do this is that by default, the way a child theme works is any file or files that are in the child theme folder that are also in the main theme folder will override the main themes settings. So for example, if we now use the functions.php file and put in the control for the search, that won't stop the functions PHP file working from the main theme, it'll just complement it. And the beauty of this is that when the theme is updated, we can update that without making any problems with overwriting the changes we've made because the child theme stays independent, but those additions will be added to the updated theme. I hope that makes sense. And like I say, there's plenty of information out there on how child themes works and the benefit. So all we need to do is put in a small piece of code. Now I've copied and pasted this, and if you go to the link in the description below, it'll have a link directly through to my website, the wptouch.co.uk website, and this article will be on there, and the code will be available for you to just copy and paste. Alternatively, you could just pause this video and copy what you've got there. Just make sure you have everything exactly the same as I've got it. So I'm just going to put the code in, and as you can see, it's a small block of code, and I'm just going to briefly explain what it does. You can see we've got on line six, query set, post type, post. So what this is going to do is it's going to search through for all the ones that are posts and display those as the search results. So all pages will be ignored. Now, let's just say you want to do the opposite. You want to ignore all of your posts, and only res uh, search results would show up from pages. You'd simply change the posts inside the parenthesis, and change that to pages, and that would then stop it from showing results from your posts and only show your pages. So that's it. All it's doing is it's telling us when there's a search, just go through the search results, query the information, and make sure that the post type returns post. Anything that doesn't fall in that category will not be returned as a search result. And that's it. All we need to do now is hit the save, and once that's saved, we can just refresh our site, do a search to test the results, and you'll find that none of the pages are being re returned, only the posts. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's something you'll find a benefit to you in your website, maybe now or in the future. If you have found it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content added to the channel. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this or any of the other content on our channel, please pop those in the comments section below. We read everything you post and we try to answer any question. Well, until next time, take care.